Hi, how you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkyGuitarLessonsOnline.com. I want to welcome all my subscribers back. It's great to see you all again. If this is the first time you've been to the site, why not you take the opportunity, click on the subscribe button. That way you'll be able to stay in touch with all these great lessons that I'm posting here on my YouTube channel. This week, if you don't already know it, we are going to be going back to Def Leppard. And from the previous album, the opening track, Let's Go. I'm going to be covering all the parts, uh, some of the dual leads that they do. So I'm going to do the intro, the verse, the chorus, and the guitar solo. So, enough of me talking, let's get straight into it. So you know the score, don't go away. Preview. So the song starts off with this big studio sound, a lot of processing, a lot of echoing going on the guitar. And we've got Joe Elliott singing, do you really, really want to do this now? Now that can be played, if you was doing that live and you wanted to bring that in, you're just going to play this over a B5. And that's going to an E5 chord. So I'm just playing that up on seven position. Then it goes into that great little riff. Now, I'm going to play it section by section. I'm going to take one bar at a time. So let me just play it through bar number one, and I'll break it down for you. So we start off on A2, crossing over to D2, to D4, to G2, back to D4, to G4, to D4, to G2, to D4, to G2, back to D4, and then we're going to need G, G, G2 to G4. So we would get. So let's have a look at bar number two now. So we're starting off again, playing the first part of the bar the same. So it's an A2, to D2, to D4, to, D, to G2, back to D4, G4, D4, D2, back to D4, and then we're going G2, G1, G2. Now, bar number three is the same as bar number one. So let me just play through bar number four, and then we'll break it down. So we start again with this kind of initial riff now. You probably have uh, probably practiced it by now. It's A2 to D2, D4 to G2. And then we go back to D4 and to G4. Then we're going to do G4 again to G2, cross over to 5 on the A, and then finishing back on A2. So we get... From there, we've got two bars of an E power chord. Now, one of the guitars plays it down on this low position, so we get this E. Another guitar, which would probably be Vivian Campbell, we've got this. So I'm just playing an E5 in that position down on the low strings and I'm playing an E5 across the G and B strings. So it just kind of fattens the whole chord up. Typical Def Leppard on this. Then we go back and we repeat the first two bars of that intro riff. From the E chord, we go back and we repeat the first two bars of the riff that we've previously covered. Then we go back to that E power chord. And again, we play the first two bars of the intro riff. And then that takes us into the pre-chorus. So let me just play through the pre-chorus and then we'll break it down. Um. Quite easy to play. We're just doing a G5 power chord to a D5, A5 to a B5, 
Back to a G5, to D5, to A. And we just let that ring out for the whole bar, which takes us into the chorus. So I'm just going to play through the chorus and then we'll break it down. So, what are we doing there? Starting off on a D5. So I'm playing on five frets on a D5. Then I'm going to keep my little finger still on the seventh fret on the D string. I'm gonna move my uh, first finger down to four fret on the A string. So you get this. And from there, I'm gonna move down to a B5, to an A5. Go to a G5 on the E string. And then I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to keep that little finger there on the five on the A and move the first finger down to second fret, down to an E, and then to an A5. And I'm going to start to repeat it all again. I got this D5, moving down, B5, A5, G5, lowering the first finger. And then I'm going to go back to the G5 doing that move down and then back to the A. So now what I'm going to do is the little bridge section or the, the start to the bridge section coming out of the chorus. So the chorus has just finished doing this. Now what we're going to do is this. Quite easy to play. You're coming down doing three, two, O oh, on the E to an A, then back to finishing on the D chord, which takes you into the acoustic section. So now let's have a look at the break or the bridge with the acoustic section. Now I'm playing this on a clean channel, uh, but on the record you've got an acoustic guitar there. But uh, we moved, when we came out of that bridge, we finished on a D chord. And on that D chord, that's where we started. So I'm just going to play through the chord progression. D chord. That's what we're going to do is use that ship of D chords. So I'll pay attention to the third finger. So we start off on D. Keep the shape when we move our third finger. So we're on 10th fret, which is an A chord. Move it down. So we have got our third finger now on the 6th, which is an F. Move it up two frets. So we're playing an E, uh, G, E, G. So we're on 8th fret with our 3rd finger, back to the D, A, F, and we finish on the G and we hold it for the remainder of the bar which takes us into the guitar solos. So let's now look at the guitar solo. Um, this one there is some dual harmonies but I'm going to be focusing on the Vivian Campbell guitar solo for this lesson. So I'm going to play it through and then we'll break it down. <laughs> Right, let's look at the first line. I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. Okay, I'm going to start off on the G string on the 4th fret. 
go into 6th fret on the G and then a whole tone bend on 6th fret. Move up to 9th fret on the G to 11. Cross over to the B string on 9. And then we've got a full tone bend on 10th fret on the B. So let's look at the lick number 2. I'll play it through and break it down. So we start with a full tone bend on 15th fret on the B string. Cross over to 12 on the high E. To 14 on the E. And then we've got a half tone bend on 16 on the E. In lick number 3. I'll play it through and break it down. So we've got a slide into 12. Going to 12 on the B string. Going to 14 on B. Going to 16. Crossing over to 12 on the high E. Back to 14 on the B. Back to 12 on the high E. And I've got a full tone bend on 14 on the E. Let's have a look at lick number 4. Very simple this one. Uh, I've made this one short because the next one's a little bit longer. We're going to do 12 on the high E to 11. Crossing over to B14. And finishing on B12. Now we've just got a progression down the scale, uh, moving from 12th fret down, finishing on the 2nd fret, so I'll just play it through. What are we doing there? We're starting on 10th fret on the B, we're going to hammer on to 12 on the B, in fact this is all on the B string, so we've got 10, 12, pulling off to 10 again. Then we move down to 9 and 9, 10. Move down to 7, so it's 7, 9, 7. Move down to five, and that's five seven five. Then four seven five, finishing on two. Lick number five. So we're sliding in on to fourth fret on the G string, crossing over to B four, which is sorry B five, and we're doing a five four five. Moving up to the 7 on the B string. And then we got this really slow bend, a full tone bend. And then we're going to use our little finger to play E7. And then we go back to B5 with another full tone bend. We just play that through. So the final lick, I'll play it through and break it down. So what we're doing there, we're moving back up the B string. I've got 5-7-5 five, with a trill. Moving up to 9-10-9. Nine, nine. Another trill. And then we're 12-14 on the B. And then we can move up to 15, uh, sorry 17 on the high E string with a full tone bend. That is all the sections of the solo. So what I want to do now is just cover some of the little incidental licks that are featured in this song through various passages. First one I'm going to look at is going through that little section before we go into the solo, There's a little, uh, sorry, before we go into the acoustic section. So we're playing through this, uh, this little bridge. <laughs> So that's playing through, and one of the guitars on the last one, instead of playing that, plays this little run. And what I'm doing there, so as we're coming out, this is where it will come in. So that's played as kind of a harmony against what the other guitar is, what Colin is playing on that. So what we're doing here, starting off on the D string, we're doing 9 to 11 to 12, crossing over to 9, and we play the same thing on the G string. Then we do a 12 again on the G, back to 11, 
and then we've got a full tone bend on G12. And that takes us into that uh, acoustic section. So we've got that little fill there. So I just want to show you this little line that is played behind the pre-chorus built up on the power chord. So it goes like this. So all we're doing there, we're playing across the B and the E string and I'm playing three on the B and I'm playing five on the E and I'm just going B, 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 E and then I go to the E, move down to second on the B string, back to the E, back to the E, move the finger back up and I repeat. That's B, E, B, E, and then we finish on the same power chord. Okay, I'm going to show you the fill that is used during the chorus session. Very easy to play this one. So let me just play through and I'll quickly show you and break it down. One, two, three, four. So it was easy. What we're playing there, we're just playing third fret on the B string. And we're just playing through uh, on the beat. We're just playing eight through the beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we repeat it all over again. And that runs through. He actually plays that in the both the chorus sections. So we've just got a little fill just playing through. Just adds a little bit about Death Leopard touch to it. Well, we've covered all of the section of the song. Uh, I am putting together a tablature because I've not seen anybody do a complete tablature of this. Now, I, I'm kind of not an expert at doing drums, etc. But what I've included is most of the lines. I've definitely got all the chords for the rhythm section. Uh, I'm just going to try and put together the lead section on the tab. But I think just following the information I've shown you on the lead here and the lesson you'll be fine, just, just keep kind of going back, rewinding, and just playing through. So, but there will be a tab for all of the main guitars for the rhythm sections. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Let's Go by Def Lover Edit. So I really do like this song. I've got more into it as I've been doing this lesson and hopefully you feel the same way. But don't forget, if you are new to this channel and you did enjoy this lesson, don't forget, just click on that subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I'm posting any new lessons which are typically uh, doing one a week now at the moment. And any of my subscribers, if you've got any requests for songs, I know I'm starting working through some, this was one that was requested by one of my uh, subscribers. So, uh, well, I'm gonna let you go. I'll be rambling on at the end as usual, my apologies. But uh, until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Wishing you well, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Till then, goodbye.